So I'm going to show you the anchor system that we're using. Now basically, it consists of the anchor itself. This one's grapnel. Probably the, the most common anchor that we use. They're good because they fold up quite small. Uh, and I've got three feet of six millimeter chain here. That helps the whole thing grip. I've got the chain attached top and bottom. Now, the reason why I do that is because if the anchor gets snagged, um, you can pull the anchor out by using a trip mechanism, which is this bit on top. Now, some people use cable ties. Um, I've seen people use all sorts of things. You can use a, a bridle, like you can see on this little anchor here. Uh, there are several mechanisms. I use a thing called a, a trip clip. And basically, this when you get snagged, if you give it a sharp tug, it will pull out and then you can pull the anchor back from the front. If, it, if it's snagged, usually that will do the trick. Um, it's quite a nifty little device and you can adjust the, the tension at which the uh, anchor trips using a little sleeve. Uh, and there you go, it's reset again now. Um, connected to the chain got some warp which is basically nylon paracord two or three millimeters um, I've got 60 or 80 meters on this dive reel um, you need probably about three or four at least three or four times the, the depth of the, uh, the location that you're fishing um, probably more really the, the, the bigger the reel the better to be honest um, and this thing, it's got a clutch on it, so basically, a bit like a ratchet, if you press this button, it will release the line. And if you let go of the button, it will lock. Okay. Um, it's also got a clip on the top. And that's handy because you can clip it to the kayak. But also, you can clip on an anchor buoy. So you can see here, and that holds the whole thing. So. We'll We'll be talking about two different methods of anchoring in the kayak, quick release and non-quick release. With the quick release method, you use the anchor buoy, and with the non-quick release method, you unclip the buoy and just clip the diver's reel straight to the kayak. Okay, but we'll show you the techniques later. Today is just about showing you the, the components of the, uh, the anchor system itself. Now, the other thing that I'll show you is when you um, when we talk about the quick release method, we use a length of cord wrapped around a plastic reel, and you can get these things from B and Q with this cord already attached to it. And then basically, what I've done is just attached a couple of feet of bungee, so this stuff stretches. Okay, and that gives the whole thing a bit of give. Um, and you'll see later how this works and how you can use it to release quickly from the, um, the anchor system. But that's about it really. So we've seen the, the, the components that make up an anchor system. The anchor itself, um, I've got a, a, a grapnel anchor, 1.5 kilo grapnel anchor. Um, we've got some chain, which helps the, uh, the anchor to grip. Then a load of warp. Uh, attached to a diver's reel uh, and then a diver's uh, an anchor buoy which attaches to the diver's reel. Now some people attach the buoy to the line itself. I prefer the I prefer the anchor buoy to be attached to the diver's reel just because when it's in the crate it makes it easier to lift the whole thing out and also if you have to cut your anchor warp for, for whatever reason you don't lose your anchor buoy with this method. All right. Now the other thing that I'm going to show you quickly as part of the anchor system is the anchor trolley on the kayak. So the reason that you have a, an anchor trolley is because obviously when you're in the kayak, most normal kayaks, you can't reach back or the front of the kayak when you're actually in it, okay, because it's too far away. And that, those are the points at which you need to be anchored from. You must anchor from either the front or the back of the kayak. And uh, the reason for that is, obviously, if you try and anchor 
from a point on the side, so for instance from the from the handle, you'll the kayak will move broadside onto the tide and the wind, and um, yeah, eventually you'll capsize, so you don't want to be in that situation. So because you can't reach the front or the back of the kayak, what we have are these things called anchor trolleys. It's basically a little pulley system. And you can see here it's, it's a carabiner that slides up and down on a couple of pulley blocks. And the idea is that, uh, that you try and get these as close to the back or the front of the kayak as you can. The, the closer to the back of the kayak or the front of the kayak that you anchor, the less wobbling around will happen. So here you go. And the other thing that we've got is some cleats. And uh, they lock everything into place. Now I've got two anchor trolleys on here. I've got one here on the back. And I've also got one here on the front. And you'll see why we have two in a minute when we actually do some anchoring. So that's it. That, hopefully that's shown you the components that go to make up the anchoring system with a kayak. Uh, in the next couple of parts, we'll show you the different methods we use to anchor up. So, thanks very much.